what is going on clan welcome back to gta 3 this is going to be part two and where we last left off we got all 100 packages or 99 depending on if you could fly the dodo so if you did grab all of the packages that you could then you should have died so you can come back to portland next we're going to tackle these stunt jumps at least the portland ones so the first one is here just south of luigi's bar you're going to see a ramp that goes onto the train tracks now in order for these to register and you get credit as a completed stunt jump, you'll see it actually pops up with unique stunt bonus. And after each jump, you can go into your stats and see that it's registered. It's going to tell you the total jumps that you have. Now in this video, it does show three out of 10, but you likely only have two out of 10 if you were getting the hidden packages. But either way, we're going to be going through all of them in the guide. So this next one is on the left side of Portland against the water. If you go down this grassy area, you're going to find a ramp here that also has a bribe here to get rid of your wanted level. Now I was probably going a bit too fast because I kind of smacked the train tracks, but as long as you see the unique stunt bonus and you do see that it registers, then you can move on to the next one. Now, next up, we're going to go over to the warehouse docks over here on the right side of Portland. And if you come down this way, you're going to see a ramp with a few trailers. You have to clear the trailers for this one to register. I recommend using a cop car or banshee for a lot of these and also you want to make sure you're not going too fast so you don't go into the water on this one but yeah i recommend a cop car or a banshee those are usually the best ones to go for at least on portland because there's not many sports cars the next one is here on the docks so you can pause there on the map if you need to and for this one usually as long as you clear the first warehouse it'll kind of register but again, just make sure you're checking after each one because the last thing you want to do is go through all of these trying to figure out which one you missed. So I really recommend just checking. It just makes your life easier in the long run. Next up, this is still towards the south side of Portland. And you're going to find yourself really close to the water, so just be careful. And you want to keep driving and you're going to find a dirt pile here that you can use to jump over the water. You definitely really want to be going fast enough because if you die, it's going to suck ass. However, since you have all the hidden packages, it's not really a big deal. But as long as you clear the water there, you're going to get the stunt to register. Next up, we've got the sixth jump in Portland. And this one is just sort of in this city area. And sometimes the traffic gets in the way, so you might need a good lineup. You might have to run over someone, but it's a small price to pay for a stunt jump bonus. You're going to get a lot of money from this because for some reason they give you a shit ton of money for doing nothing. Next up, we're going to go towards the O'Callaghan Bridge over here. And you want to go between these two. And in order for this one to clear, you just want to go straight. And I'm pretty sure as long as you jump that beam there, then it'll count for you. But again, just make sure it does. And then after that, we have one more jump that we need to do. So this is going to be our last jump in Portland. The other ones we will get later, so don't worry about them just yet. So this one is actually on the bridge. And then you're going to face towards the city itself and then jump off of this part here and just make sure that registers. Now my landing here is very, very scuffed, but again, it registered and that's all you need to make sure that happens. So this will conclude basically all the side stuff that we're going to do for now. So as long as you've been following the guide, we've done all the side stuff. And you're probably asking me, what do we do now? What do you mean? Now we can finally play the game. That is right, boys. We finally get to play the game. It's main story time. And I want you to do them in the order that I show you. Otherwise, you can possibly cause some to despawn. And then you will miss the 100% in game and possibly, well, not possibly, you will lose out on your platinum trophy and you'll have to replay the game. So trust in me as I guide us through Liberty City. We're going to go to the L on the map, which is for Luigi. And the first mission we're going to do with him is don't spank my bitch up. So you're going to have to teach this guy a lesson. And after you beat the shit out of him with a bat, you can then steal his car. Because it's not enough that we did just, you know, absolutely pulverize him. And I'm going to just show you majority of the mission route we're going. But whenever there's a tricky mission as well, I'm going to give you the best strategy that I found. So that way you can, you know, finish the mission without much of an issue. So next one is just an escort mission. You just pick up Misty and then you'll go on to pump action pimp. If you haven't already as well, I recommend going to the hideout and picking out some Uzi ammo and, and things like that. It just makes a lot of these missions through the story a lot easier. 
So as you can see, we have the Uzi to get them out of the car and then you can just run them over. And also if your car is about to blow up, I recommend getting out of there. Now, if you did get all 100 packages, you can use the RPG as well, but in my guide, I'm just gonna show you without it, but I'll still show you the easiest methods that I've found. So before we start the next L mission for Luigi, you wanna come down over here and you wanna pick up a bus. That's right, guys. We are going to drive a bus and we're gonna get a missable trophy here. So we actually have to use the coach bus to pick up all eight prostitutes at once in this mission. So once you've grabbed the bus, then you can go and start the mission with Luigi. And I recommend just having it nearby so it doesn't despawn or anything. So the mission's called the Fuzzball. And again, this is missable, so you can save beforehand if you feel like you might mess up, or you can just kill yourself and then retry. Now, when you load up the mission, you're gonna see a bunch of green dots on the map, and you just wanna kind of, you don't really need to map it out. You have a lot of time on this mission but you wanna pick up all of them with the bus. And then once you have all of them picked up, you can take them over to the marker. And as long as you have all eight, you'll get the missable trophy, got this figured out. Now there's a lot of goofy goobers online who are saying this is not a missable trophy, but I can assure you that it is missable because if you don't grab all eight of them and you complete the mission, that's the end of the mission. So you would have to start a new game and then get all eight again and then do it, which is the definition of missable. Yeah, I find that weird, I have to explain that, but that's okay. For this next mission, before you start it, I do recommend creating another save. Um, this one is missable, and if it doesn't pop and you complete the mission, because it actually pops after the mission, then you'd have to play through the beginning missions again to get this trophy. So in order to get this missable trophy here, what you do is you rig the car with a bomb at 8Ball's um, auto repair shop here, and then we're gonna make our way to the objective, trying not to hit any cars. You really have to bring it back there without it having any serious damage. There's no damage meter or anything, so I'm not sure how bad you can actually damage it. But ultimately, as long as you just drive it up the hill, it's not too far. Drive it up the hill, get to the destination, and as long as you didn't damage it, then you're gonna get the missable trophy without a scratch. And if you did for some reason not get the trophy, then you can just reload your save and try again. So you arm the car bomb once you're there, and then you need to move out of the area, and that's gonna trigger the cutscene. He's gonna come out and hop in the car and get blown to smithereens. That's gonna get you a nice gold trophy. So not only is it immiscible, and that's another one we won't have to worry about. And I don't know about you, but... I love gold! What's up, dog? We heard that you like missable trophies, so we put a missable trophy in your missable trophy. I'm just kidding. But in the next one, it's another missable trophy. So you can make up another backup save, or you can just use the one from the previous mission if you fail. But this one here, it, it's gonna take a little bit more work, okay? We gotta work for this one, and for some reason it's a silver, but look, I digress. So what we wanna do here is, again, this is 8-Ball Shop, right? You wanna take one of the cars before we go to the mission objective, You just want to take any kind of car and drive it back to the mission objective. So as you can see here, keep going all the way there. So what we're trying to do with this trophy is make the NPC take one of these cars that have a bomb rigged to it. And then that way he blows up instead of, you know, having to do a whole car chase with him. So once you come to Chinatown here, you're going to see the green dot. That's the mission objective that we need to go to but we're not gonna do that yet. Instead, I want you to arm this car right here. You can see the white square on the mini map. And then you're gonna come around the side here, go around to the right, avoid the triads, try not to piss them off. And then you're gonna find this side has a blue station wagon. We're gonna take this all the way back to eight balls auto shop as well. And we're gonna rig this one with a bomb as well. And then we're gonna come back to the mission objective and this time we're gonna put one here. So again, you should have one on that white square that I showed you on the mini map. And then you should have one right here. So we have two cars that are rigged with bombs. Now, once you've done that, you wanna run back this way around the building. And then we're gonna enter from this alleyway here that's gray on the mini map. And once you get close to him, that's gonna spook him. He's gonna run. And then we're gonna have to face like three of his thugs. Boom! 
Ooh. Bam. Oh. Bop. Now I say face, but they have like the same IQ as me, which isn't very high. And then we're going to go this way and you'll see that uh, he's going to jump in the car that we wanted him to jump in. And that's going to pop the trophy. Bada bop boom pow. And there it is guys, planned ahead, another missable trophy knocked out and then we can progress through Joey's quest line. So head back to Joey's, get the Van Heist trophy next. And again, if you miss those trophies, you can reload your backup save or you can just start a new game at any point and get them at some time. But I just recommend doing them now just get it over with. Now in this Van Heist mission, all we have to do is make sure we have an Uzi with some ammo and we're just gonna unload on him while we're doing a drive-by. And as you can see, the thing can take a fair bit of damage. But once you get the damage meter to max, they're going to jump out of the car. And then you want to make sure you don't get busted. So you want to give yourself some room to run away from the cops. And then quickly jump inside there without getting shot at. As you can see, we're using the body armor from the hideout as well. This is going to be very useful throughout the story. And then eventually you bring it down to the docks. And then you're just going to park it in the storage unit here. And that's going to complete the mission. You also lose all of the cops once you pull up to this area and go in the mission marker. So don't worry about that as well. After that, we'll go right back to Joey. And then what we're going to do in this mission, a lot of it really is sort of, again, like an escort mission. We're going to drive them to this area here and then drive off from the triads. And then there's one more stop we make. And that's where the next lot of missions will open up at, but we're not going to do those just yet. Now, what we're going to actually do is go back to Joey's place. And in this mission that he gives us, it's actually going to give us another trophy. So this one's called Dead Skunk in the Trunk. It's always a clever title. And then what you want to do is there's a car that we're going to go grab. And I tried to be clever and blow up that car so they wouldn't chase me. But as you can see, this car came up behind me anyways. So honestly, just hop in the car that you're supposed to steal, drive it to the mission objective, which is going to be this crane crusher over here. And at this part, you just want to be quick and go into the marked area here. And while the car crusher is doing the animation, the guy can still come up behind you. So what I did was I ran over here and hid behind these tarps. Look, man, they remastered it, but I, I don't know what the fuck that is. I'll be honest with you. And then I pulled out the shotgun ah, got you. and it was a GG easy clap. And not only did we just clap his cheeks, but we clapped the cheeks of that trophy. So after you complete that mission, we're going to head back to Joey. Now, sometimes some of these missions will say to come back at a certain time. So for example, this next Joey mission was like 6 a.m. to something else. You can save the game to progress time forward, or you can just hop around like an idiot like I did. And then you can finally start the mission. And that, there's a few of those throughout the game. There's actually not too many in GTA 3. But in the getaway, we're going to have these three dudes in the car with me. Three dudes, one car. And then we're going to drive to the next mission objective. They're going to go in, steal a bunch of shit, and then we have to be the getaway car. So that we're going to have a three-star wanted level. Now, right off the bat, just to give you guys you know, a little less pressure of all these cars hitting you, you can come down this alleyway and get rid of one of the stars, which is already going to make a massive difference. And then you can just cut through here. So you can see the little alleyway there. Cut through here and then go to the pay and spray. And then anytime you use a pay and spray, it's automatically going to wipe your wanted level. And then you can just coast back to the mission objective and then get your mission passed. And once you bring it back there, that's going to get you $30,000. Always nice to see that total go up, even though we don't have anything to spend it on in GTA 3, and that's fine. Now, next up, what we're going to have to do is we're going to start doing these phone booth missions. So this should have appeared on the map, and the reason you want to do these are because, again, if you don't do the missions in a certain order, some of them despawn. And there's also a missable trophy we can get here, so you can go save your game if you'd like. We have to complete this race in 180 seconds. Now, I recommend coming over here by 8 Balls Auto Shop. And going inside there, you can see I smashed inside the building with a taxi and grabbed the Banshee. The Banshee is going to make the race a lot easier because it's a very fast car. And all we're really doing in this is just trying to, um, again, beat the race time as well as get first. 
Now it's not too hard to get first. I don't really think the AI is that great. You can see like I'm I'm hitting like almost every car on the way here. So yeah, guys, you can see that I'm still hitting a lot of cars. You know, I'm not doing the best. And well, like even there, that was a huge time waste and I'm still easily in first. So you guys won't have any problem with this. The main thing you want to really keep an eye on is your time. The trophy will only pop if you complete the race with 180 seconds or under, of course. So as long as you get 180 or under, then the trophy should pop. And again, the AI is not too bad. And you'll see as we come up on the red checkpoint, we're at 165 and we got the buy a mile trophy and all right before our car blew up. Would you look at that? So again, under 180 seconds and then return to the phone booth for our next mission. So we've got some ice cream, you scream going on now. And in this one, we're just going to give these guys some ice cream. So you're going to take a Mr. Whoopie vehicle. And there may be a bomb in there. That's, that's okay, though. We're going to put the bomb in the car. We're going to go to a safe distance. And uh, these guys here are just going to start lining up. And we're just going to allow them to line up by the car. And as you guys can see, once they get up to the car pretty close, you can just detonate the bomb, kill them, and that's a mission passed. Now we're going to move on with the phone booth missions. And again, we're doing a lot of these because they either become nearly impossible later in the game, especially on the first island, or they become missable. So we just really want to make sure we're doing these in order. Now you're going to come to this area where you can see a gun on the map. And it's going to be a flamethrower, and we have to just burn or kill 25 triads with it. You can come over here and get a few of them while they're lined up. They have weapons, but for some reason they can't shoot through the gate. And then you can just start going around and just burning, burning them. So again, just go up to them. You can find a lot that have like a baseball bat. If you can, I would try to avoid the ones with guns. And you also want to be careful because if you're too close, they might run into you. Because you can see right here, I lit myself on fire. When you get lit on fire, it does a shitload of damage to you. So again, just be careful. And you can see I, I got my ass ran over at the end there. And again, just make sure you don't light yourself on fire. And then head to the next mission at the phone booth. This one's called Big and Vainy. This one's actually super relatable too. Because you know when you're like on the hub and stuff and, and this kind of happens? Like, that's relatable, isn't it, guys? You guys relate? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Uh, yeah, so so anyways, for this mission here, guys, you're just going to, you're going to see these uh, magazines that are on the, the street, and they're highlighted by an orange aura, and you just want to keep following them until it leads you all the way to the Portland docks over here, and uh, then you're going to eventually find the van of the guy who's, you know, watching this sick stuff, like, who, who could watch any of this stuff, and then just run him over, just run him over, and then take that van, you know, take it back to the checkpoint, and that's going to be the magazine store to, you know, return those. Yo, what is this guy doing? So anyways, once you return those magazines, that's going to be another mission pass for you guys. So now we'll head to a new place that we can grab missions from. And this is for Tony. And his first mission is called Taking Out the Laundry. Now this mission's easy. Again, you want to have something like an Uzi. And all we're going to be doing is hunting down these laundry trucks. And once you get all three of the laundry trucks throughout the mission just make sure you don't blow yourself up and you will pass the mission that that's literally it. it's a nice easy one very chill we're just taking out the laundry at the end of the day after that make your way back to jesus christ i'm bad at the game make your way back to tony next up is going to be the pickup and again just a quick rundown for this mission we're going to get kind of uh ambushed in this um little alleyway here so from every corner, there's going to be some triads that start um, ambushing us. So uh, you want to just, you know, introduce them to one of your friends that's in your inventory, like the Uzi or the shotgun, and just start blasting. After that, you'll have to return the briefcase back to Tony, and that's going to pass the mission. So that's a nice easy one, and then you can just head right back into Tony's marker. Next up, we've got Salvatore's called a meeting. Now with this one here, what we want to do is we're going to go pick up a limo from Joey's Auto Repair. And we're basically, again, this is going to be kind of like escorting. It's a nice, easy escort quest. And we'll get Tony picked up at some point as well. And then we're going to get ambushed again by the triads. 
This time they're going to try and run us over with the cars and the trucks and the stuff. But we're just going to head to the mission objective, which is the Salvatore Mansion. So make your way up the hill. There's going to be two more triad trucks here on the dirt path. If you're quick, you can just run right through and then head into the garage at the mansion. And that'll give you a mission passed. Now we've unlocked Salvatore's missions at the mansion. So you can just head right into his mission marker and we're going to go on chaperone next. So like the title suggests, it's another escort quest. So in this one, we're escorting Maria. And while we're waiting for her to get out of the warehouse here, there's actually a police raid that happens. So they think we got the good stuff, which they're not wrong. We got that perp skirt from up north down in here. So they're trying to catch us riding dirty. What we're going to do is we're just going to keep kind of moving the limo around. I run over a few cops just so that way when uh, Maria finally comes out of the building, there's a little less uh, cops I have to deal with. Some of those mafia dudes will take out the cops as well. So don't, don't really freak out too much. You should be fine. Yo, this cop be fast and furious and you see that shit? But make your way over to the objective and then you're going to get another mission passed. Now for the next mission, I recommend backing up your save because we are going to deal with some really fucking terrible AI. So this missable trophy can be an absolute pain in the ass, but hopefully I can give you the tools needed to succeed. I find these guys very fucking sporadic, but what we're going to do, as you can see here, whenever I try to just go in there and start blasting, you know, just start blasting at them. And we want to take this guy out here. And then what you want to do is have both of these people alive. So these mafia members have to be alive. But as you can see, I accidentally ran over that one and he got back up. But now you'll just proceed to get gang banged by all the triad members. So I'm stuck on them. And like once you get fucked on this mission, you get fucked hard. And another example, I get in the taxi passenger seat. And now I'm in the back seat and then the dudes outside and then the mafia dudes are hitting each other and then no one knows what's going on. And then now I get gang banged by triad members. So, yeah, this was a fun time on stream. I tend to stream uh, pretty much while I'm recording for guides. And uh, yeah, this is what I found to be pretty common here. As you can see, this guy is just shooting us like, bro, we are on the same fucking team. So the method I did to finally get this mission to work is I parked the car to where it was in a good position to grab both of them. I had a grenade ready and I yeeted it over to the target. And then I ran back to the car and while it was positioned perfectly, we just hopped right back in. And then I drove the fuck out of there because I am not redoing this mission. If you have a method too, leave it in the comment below. It might help someone out. But that was mine. I hope it helps you. And then that's not the end of the mission. You actually have to come to this triad building here. And you can actually just go on the hill and then shoot them with the Uzi from here. It's very safe. Um, you can also hit them a little bit better with the shotgun. But that's going to get you the missable trophy. And look, if you had a frustrating experience with these two assholes, then take out that frustration. Let it all out. And then we can make our way back to Tony and head to the next mission. So for this next mission, it's going to have you drive a 3D version of me. And this 3D version of myself is actually rigged with a car bomb. You want to make sure that you don't take too much damage or that meter will go up and you will fail. But what you do is you drive it all the way to the triads building. But you drive the truck to the side of the gate, which is on the opposite side of where I'm at now. And they're going to open the gate up for you and then you can rig the car bomb to explode in between the marker there. And then you can take a truck to drive out of the area or you can just quickly run. Just be aware that they will attack you so you don't want to die. Once you're out of range, it's going to blow up and you'll get a mission pass for that. And again, you can see I'm getting attacked, so just be careful with that. And you should also have body armor. I'm a bad example. All right, guys, so next up we have cutting the grass. What we want to do for this one is it's it's a tailing mission. I know everyone loves tailing in games. That was sarcasm. It usually fucking blows. But what we do here is you can see the spooko meter went up really high there. It's because I was too close. So we'll just cautiously kind of, you know, follow him. Make sure our spooko meter doesn't go up. And once you get to the docks, there's going to be a cutscene of him running away. And then it's going to say to whack Curly Bob. So what you can do is you can just drive your truck and crunch him and it's an easy mission pass it's pretty much just you know tailing the guys kind of lame but after that we'll head back to the salvatore mansion and proceed with our mission 
So this is going to be Bomb to Base Act 1. It's one of the uh, signature mission titles in the GTA series. And it basically makes you go to 8-Ball's building. You speak to him, and he's going to say that we need some money for this mission. If you've been following the guide, you have way more than enough money. You need $100,000. But we got that big dig money. We got $760,000 doll hairs. So go ahead and initiate the cutscene with him again. He's going to give you a sniper rifle. You're going to head to the docks. As you can see, he's in the bottom left there. And once he's there, you're going to slowly start sniping these dudes. I found that if you snipe them a bit too fast, it actually failed the mission. You can see the analog is super touchy. But I killed those two, and then I let him kind of inch up a bit, and I killed the next one. You don't want to wait too long either, though, because you can see here they start unloading on him. I mean, they don't hold back. Thankfully, the sniper's pretty fast to shoot, but just make sure you're taking them out as quick as possible. You'll kind of find a rhythm to it. It might take you one or two tries. I think this mission took me two tries, and I also got the um, kill 100 gang members trophy here, so you might get that as well. If not, you'll just get that throughout the playthrough. But yeah, just slowly take them all out. You're going to have a cutscene where he blows up the entire ship. And then that's the end of the mission, and you get $150,000. So nice, easy mission. Wasn't too bad. And then we can move on to Salvatore's last mission. This is our last mission on Portland as well. It's going to unlock the second island finally. So this is going to get you a story-related trophy. This one isn't missable. The mission is called Last Request. So after we complete this mission, the Mafia is going to be really pissed off at us. So make sure you've done your fire truck missions, your taxi. I recommend doing taxi on the first uh, island anyways. It's a lot easier. But make sure you've done a lot of those. You don't have to worry about Rampage. I'm going to show you a trick for that. But yeah, as long as you've been following the guide, you'll be fine as long as you did the things I told you to do. And we'll just keep moving on. So after the objectives are done, then you'll get the Mark Man Trophy. You'll be by Asuka's mission start. But we're going to stop the story again for a moment. And what we're going to do when we get on this new island... You want to head over here to the west side of the hideout. We're going to grab a fire truck because you guessed it. We have 20 fire truck missions that we need to do. And again, all you do is get in the car, start the fire truck mission, and just put out the fires. So you need 20 on each island, and it's better to do this one right at the start. Otherwise, the gangs become hostile towards the end, and it makes it nearly impossible without dying constantly. So first off, start with the fire truck, get to 20. Once you have 20 on Staunton Island, you can save your game. And then what you want to do is you can stock up infinite ammo basically here by going into the save menu and then backing out or saving the game twice and then picking up the ammo again. You want to have maybe two to 3,000 Uzi bullets. I'd probably, yeah, say, say about at least 2,000 just because you don't really want to run out while you're doing this. Otherwise, it could screw you. And what we'll do next is I want you guys to come to this area here. This is going to be the Staunton Island Police Station. This is where you can find a police car very easily. Or you can also just get the police on you and get one as well. And what I recommend doing is putting two police cars in your garage. This garage can hold two cars. So put two police cars. Make sure you grab about 2,000 Uzi ammo. And then save your game. So that way if you mess up at all, you can just reload the game and make this a lot easier. Now what we need to do is do 20 vigilante missions on Staunton. It doesn't have to be in a row, but if you want, you can try to go for that. But I'm going to give you guys a trick with the tank on the first island later on in the game. So again, it doesn't have to be in a row, but just do 20 of those. And if you're playing the old version of the game, there's actually an exploit you can do. And all you do is whenever you get to a criminal, you just pause the game and then unpause it. And for some reason, they just get out of the car. It only works on the older version of the game. So you can see you can pause it. And then for some reason they just get out of the car and then you can kill them. So again, we only need 20 of these. They don't have to be in a row because we're gonna use a tank method to do that trophy towards the end of the guide. So don't worry about that. And then after you've done all 20 of the fire truck and the vigilante, you can head over to Asuka's mission marker, which is an A. So we're gonna start the Sayonara Salvatore quest or mission, Jesus Christ, nerd saying quest it's gta man what the fuck and for this one here you'll get to a point where it says that they are starting to leave luigi's bar and if you just hide behind this building here you can kind of just ambush them right when they come by so there's going to be an escort car and then there's going to be the car that we actually want to take out and you can just start wailing on them with the uzi 
and they should drop pretty quick. So as you can see, he's already going to blow up. Make sure you don't blow up with them. And then that's going to be an easy $25,000 hairs. All right, after that, we've unlocked the phone booth missions on the Staunton Island over here. So ignore the story missions for now. We're going to again focus on the payphone missions so that way they don't despawn on us and ruin our platinum. So we're doing missions for King Courtney. And for this one here, what you want to do is try to grab these objectives before the other cars. Now you won't be able to grab all of them, but you have to have the most amount by the end of the race. So as you can see, that guy's just chilling there. He's lazy. So we've got nine out of 15. Honestly, it wasn't too hard, but once every single one of them has been picked up, the mission will end. And as long as you have more than everyone else, you'll complete the mission. After we do that one, we're gonna do the Uzi Rider mission. Now this one makes us drive all the way to Portland, which kind of sucks, but drive over to Portland and we just need to start taking out some of the gang members here. And after you kill 10 of them, it's gonna make you drive all the way back to Staunton Island. So it's just kind of a far drive for everything, but it's not a hard mission and you guys will smash it out. Now the next mission we get from King Courtney is a bit of a beefy one. This one is called Gang Car Roundup. And we are actually gonna be doing what the game's called. We're gonna be doing some Grand Theft Auto. We need to steal three different types of cars. We wanna to come to Portland in this area here. So in this Hepburn Heights area, you're gonna see these Diablo Stallion cars, which are the gang cars. So you can see they look like that. They have the really tacky flames on the side that look like shit. So go ahead and steal one of them. You have to drive it all the way back to Staten Island, but it's gonna give you the fastest waypoint. Now, if you make it to the garage and it doesn't take the car because it's all smashed, then congratulations. You're just like me. Trash! But don't worry too much. There is a pay and spray on Staten Island and you can go there, repair the car, and then hand it back into the garage. So after the Diablo Stallion, the next car we want to steal is the Mafia Sentinel. You can find them at Salvatore's Mansion back on Portland. So we've got the Mafia Sentinel, take it back there. Again, use the pain spray if needed. And then we're gonna go boost our final car. Now this one is in front of Asuka's house on the dock here. You can find the Yakuza Stinger there. There's a spawn there in front of her mission marker. Bring that one in there and that's gonna be our final car and that'll pass the phone booth mission. Now next up, we can go to the final mission which is also gonna give you a trophy for completing it. This one's called Kingdom Come. So in this mission, you're just gonna take out a bunch of suicide bombers. The only catch is that they're jacked up on crack. Literally, man. And without my help, this is what you would be hearing. Here you go, I got a present for you. Come to daddy, come here. Come to daddy. Come here. This, this is, is not okay. This needs to stop now. Look guys, it's as I always say. If you feel like a game is giving you way too much macaroni, then it's time to use the cheese. So immediately once this mission starts, drive outside of this area before they can start blowing up on you. We're gonna go over here and go up the staircase. And now we're basically gonna be like at a shooting range. So come up here and then make your way onto this ledge. And you can just start shooting with the Uzi and blow up the van in the distance. After you blow up that van, there's another van here. Because if you don't take out the vans, they're going to just keep coming at you. They're going to keep spawning from there and uh, just try to suicide bomb you. So take out this one as well. And then you can see I took the one out in the back. And then there's a guy down here, so I just chucked a grenade at him. Just a little overkill. You know what I mean? You got to be, be sure when you're dealing with crackheads. You can see there's one hidden behind the tree, so just be cautious that this happens to you as well. I don't think you can really snipe him, so the best way is just get ready to drop down, quickly switch to a gun that's going to reach him, and then blow him up before he gets to you. And then you can look on the map for any other green dots, and you can see there was one over here. And I'm going to carefully bait him out, and then we're going to get our trophy. There it is, a gift from the king. Well, I think that's a good place to end this one on. We're going to end it on a trophy. So go ahead and save your game, and we will head to the next Oscar mission. We're going to continue with the story. I hope you guys are really enjoying the guide and having a great time playing through GTA 3 with me and coming along the journey. I really do appreciate your time. If you are enjoying it, why don't you make that thumb button blue for me? And maybe you should leave a comment below that says, Meth. Not even once.
And as always, thank you to my Patreon supporters. I really appreciate you guys. If you're interested in being immortalized in all of my videos, then check out the Patreon. But other than that, I will see you in part three.